हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो दिस वीडियो इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट गाइस बिकॉज व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू बी डिस्कसिंग इन दिस वीडियो इज अ श्योर शॉर्ट एंड फिक्स्ड क्वेश्चन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द फाइनल एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ दिस एग्जाम डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन दैट इज लिस्ट आउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एंट्रोपी ओके सो देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ हाई चांसेस दैट दिस क्वेश्चन दे माइट बी आस्किंग there are four sets of properties under entropy which you need to be knowing that i'm going to be discussing and whatever i have written in this notes right in the same way you should be writing for the exam as well so this notes i have put it in the description okay and uh, i'm going to be all explaining already in this video so please stay tuned listen till the end there are four set of properties all those four whatever i have written in this notes in the same way if you write it in the exam you would be getting full marks for this question okay so before watching this video please like this video and uh, subscribe to our channel okay let us get to the concept now properties of entropy so property one it says that entropy is a continuous function in each and every independent variable p of k okay where this independent variable is also the probability so it is a continuous process okay based on the different sets of probabilities the entropy could be calculated for all those sets of probabilities together okay so that's why it is a continuous function so this is the first property second property entropy is symmetrical about its arguments that is h of p of k comma 1 minus p of k is equal to h of 1 minus p of k comma p of k okay if you do the extended entropies for that if you get different sets of uh, probabilities for that it is symmetrical for both the sets okay so that's why entropy is symmetrical above its arguments okay so this is the second pro property next property property 3 very very important property okay with respect to the entropy that is called as extremal property okay in this we are mainly focusing with maximum entropy value the problems are not there much on this but this property is very important because they might be asking this property separately okay that is ex may explain the extremal property in terms of entropy so for that this uh, explanations are required there is a bit of derivation here so see here first we should be showing that in this property you should be showing that the maximum value of entropy that is hs of h of s max is equal to log base 2 times q okay where this q is the number of symbols generated with respect to the probabilities okay so now consider a source which emits the symbols that is s is equal to s1 s2 s3 up to sq with the probabilities of p is equal to p1 p2 p3 up to pq such that summation of k equal to 1 to q p of k is equal to 1 okay so this thing you keep it in mind now in a source of q symbols the maximum entropy is given by h of s max is equal to log q where the base is e now okay but we need to be proving that log q to the base 2 right if all symbols emitted are equiprobable equiprobable in the sense whatever the probabilities are there that are equal for all the symbols but here it is not uh, uh, it is not the case because till now whatever we have solved the problems we have seen probabilities of different kinds okay for of with different values in a particular set of symbols we are not having all the probabilities equal this condition only satisfied when the entropy values are equiprobable okay so that's why this is not possible but this condition you need to be mentioning now you should be proving proof part consider h of s as the upper bound by considering the quantity log 2 So log q base two minus h of s. That is log q base two minus h of s is equal to one into log q base two minus h of s. That is I have just in incremented this one year because you know that one into any term is the same term itself. So that's why I have put this one year in order to include this term. Why? Because we have concluded one term that is summation of k equal to one to q p of k is equal to one. So in order to involve probability here, so that's why I have included this one here. So name this equation as equation A. now in in place of 1 here substitute the value that is uh, p of k summation of k equal to 1 to q p of k and this term you write it as it is log q base 2 minus h of s h of s is uh, defined as summation of k equal to 1 p of k log of 1 by p of k so that i have substituted it here now again uh, write it here and here you see here here log base 2 is there here also log base 2 is there since here we were having 1 by p of k 
in order to reciprocate it we could be should be saying changing the sign as well so that's why the sign gets changed here and this should be uh, reciprocated to p of k okay 1 by p of k is written as p of k divided by 1 that is equal to p k itself now here in these two terms summation k equal to 1 to q p of k is common so take it outside write out the other terms that is log q base 2 plus log p of k base 2 okay so here if this follows the property log m plus log n that is log m into n so that's why log base 2 q into p of k i have written it okay now converting the logarithm from base 2 to base e okay so now whatever the logarithm conversion is there you should be doing it from base 2 to base e for that you need to be knowing the simple log function that is log x base 2 is uh, written as log x base 10 divided by log 2 base 10 okay now here also now log x base 10 is written as log x base e divided by log 10 base e divided whole divided by log e base 2 divided by so log 2 base e divided by log 10 base e here log 10 base e is common cancel it down and uh, let's of the terms you write it here so this is in this way the base 2 is converted to base in terms of base e okay so that you substitute it here so log q base 2 minus h of s is equal to summation k equal to 1 to q p of k log q into p k base e divided by log 2 base e okay so here now this is in the denominator side bring it to the numerator so that you would be it would be the negative term so that would be minus log 2 base e summation of k equal to 1 to q p of k log q base e into p of k okay now from the logarithmic inequality curve that is this is the inequality come with respect to the logarithm here we should be knowing that the slope is equal to y, y is equal to mx plus 3 and it is mx plus c and it can also be written in terms of x as x minus 1 okay so based on that uh, logarithmic function it is strictly less than less than or equal to x minus 1 so take the minus sign on both sides it would be minus ln of x is equal is less than or equal to minus of x minus 1 so that's why minus of ln of x is equal is greater than or equal to 1 minus x okay i've just uh, ch changed the proportion so that's why we would be getting here in this table y equal to x minus 1 consider some values of x that is 0 1 2 3 x minus 1 so is 0 minus 1 is minus 1 1 minus 1 0 2 minus 1 1 3 minus 1 2 based on that this one conclusion we would be getting that is ln of x into 1 by x is greater than or equal to 1 minus x so okay so this you note it down now with respect to that substitute the value of x with respect to the logarithmic curve whatever we have generated previously that is x is equal to 1 divided by q times pk that would be ln of q times pk okay if you substitute the value is greater than or equal to 1 minus x that is 1 by q times pk now multiply both sides by pk here along with its summations that is summation of k equal to 1 to q pk log q pk is greater than or equal to summation of k equal to 1 to q pk into 1 minus 1 divided by q b okay so here again multiply this term along with the summation you would be getting summation of k equal to 1 to q pk minus summation of k equal to 1 to q pk into 1 divided by q pk if you multiply these two terms you pk pk gets cancelled after multiplying both sides by log 2 base e we would be getting the term log 2 base e into summation of k equal to 1 to q pk ln of q into pk is greater than or equal to log 2 base e 1 minus 1 because this term is equal to 1 here and after cancelling this term we are, we are left with only 1 by q and since the limits are from 1 to q itself so this also would be equal to 1 so we would be getting log 2 base e into 1 minus 1 okay so here 1 minus 1 is 0 and we know that uh, into 0 into any term is 0 itself so we would be getting uh, the right hand side part as 0 that is log 2 base e summation of k equal to 1 to q pk ln of q into pk is greater than or equal to 0 okay so now name this as equation b now compare equation a and b previously equation a we have written it as this right so if we compare this equation a with the equation p whatever gen is generated here we can be concluding one term that is log q base 2 minus h of s is greater than or equal to 0 okay why because this equation b we have got it from equation a itself right 
whereas this term we have right hand side we have concluded it to zero so that's why you could be directly writing it as log q base 2 minus h of s is greater than or equal to zero which is the maximum in, in case of the maximum entropy value so that's why hs of max h of s max is equal to log q base 2 okay so in this way we have concluded this third property that is the extremal property and we have proved this condition. It gives the maximum values of entropy so it is called as the extremal property. Okay. So the last and final property is property 4 that is based on source efficiency and redundancy. Okay. Again these two are simple we are having some simple set of expression for that. Source efficiency is defined as the ratio of entropy of the source to maximum value of entropy that is it is given by the term neta okay it is given written as s here it is also called as neta neta is equal to h of s divided by h max of s into 100 this is the source efficiency of the entropy and the redundancy is the inverse of source efficiency for example if you get the source efficiency as 75 percent the redundancy would be 25 percent that is 1 minus whatever the percentage of source efficiency whatever we get is called as redundancy okay this is the property 4 like this all the four properties are discussed for uh, entropy so please note these properties down very important in this third property that is extremal property is very very important guys so please note it down this notes have put it in the video's description go and access it and study it okay so yeah that's all for this video guys in the next video we are going to be seeing with some other concepts of this module stay tuned be ready for watching all the videos okay that's all guys. Thank you.